Hey Dino friends, it is me, Dr. Dino, and welcome back to another Dragon Adventures video. I know I'm kind of addicted to this game, but so are you guys, so it's okay, I think. So in the last video, I put a toxic egg in my base to see what came out, and I actually recorded that video a while ago, and I didn't want to make a video from a week ago, because then you guys are going to think I'm so behind on the game and stuff. So that's why I decided today I'm just going to record a new video and I've been playing almost every day last week So a lot of stuff has actually happened since the last uh, Video, so let me tell you about it. So from the first egg that I planted planted Hatched <laughs> what it's not a seed. I got a neuroxide. I don't have it anymore But here these are the colors that it had kind of boring kind of cool colors But I've been playing a lot since and I've been actually hatching a lot more eggs so from my first egg i got a neuroxide uh here is another one i love this one i actually got this one from an egg and it has very unique colors i think it is night night gold three colors to make it black black and gold it kind of looks like an indoraptor i really like this one this one is really cool i think um just an Indoraptor Neuroxide. After that, from my second egg, I actually got a Radidon. I think it's called. Then brand new big dragon. Here is another one. Someone else also has one or two, actually. I got, from my second uh, toxic egg, I got... And it's a female, too, which is really cool. I got this one. Look at it. It looks, it looks as if it's almost like I used Valentine Potion, but I didn't. It's just red and kind of pinkish gray on its own. It came from the egg like this. It actually, I'm thinking about using a potion on it. I want to kind of use... What is the potion? This one, maybe. I really like the colors on this one. Like the, Especially the bright green really fits with the... Um, toxic zone so i'm thinking maybe i kind of want to use that potion and i'm not really sure anyway when i got that first radidon i thought that is pretty cool that i got it already because some people said it was rare but i didn't really believe them because i got it so fast but that's not how chance works just because you got something fast doesn't mean it's not rare so then i've been opening more eggs because i know everyone really wants the radidon um I'll just keep her out. Here we go. Everyone really wants the Radidon. So first I hatched a, ba uh, a baby out of this together with Lego, uh, a friend of the channel. He had like a shiny, a golden glowy uh, Venet dragon. So this one. He had a yellow glowy version of this dragon. And we made a baby between this one and his dragon. And mine actually was a Radidon again. I got super lucky. And it looked like this. Here's a picture. But I actually sold that one. Because I thought they weren't that rare. And I was wrong. And now I have really big regrets. I kind of want that one back. That one was so beautiful with the yellow and the pink. It looked really cool. But at least I still have the mom here. And it's been a while. So her cooldown is only one day left. Until we can make another baby with her. So that is my story. Except that after that I tried to get another Radidon for my friend Lego. Because he really wanted that. Uh, he also really wanted a Radidon. And he never got one. So I actually hatched. I'm not even kidding. Over 60 eggs. At this point I haven't actually kept track. I think I'm well over 60 eggs. Here there's actually 5 of them right here. So let's hatch these and hope that maybe one of these can finally be a radidon i've been looking for so many eggs and uh, i really just want one so i can give it to lego because he's been waiting so long to get one so oh here's angel hey angel my friend angel is here okay so let's get rid of these dragons my indominus Neuroxide and my Radidon. I don't know. I kind of want to use the potion on it. I might do that later in the video. And you. 
Okay, so and also I'm actually proud of myself. Look at my inventory, not at the dragons, but how many. There's only 17. That's right, I've tidied up. I've tidied up my inventory. Every time it was full and full, and I'm sure you guys have that all the time as well. Then you have to choose what dragon to delete. So I decided to get rid of most of my Soriums, which was very painful because they're my favorite. And now I keep reading between these two. I'm trying to get one that's pretty much very similar to this one, except with a few more mutation. This one is pretty much like my favorite Sorium. And then here, of course, we have my first Sorium, Erizard. So I kind of want to make a dragon that's kind of like a baby of Erizard, kind of like Erizard Jr. or something. And then I will have the perfect Sorium. And then I, my inventory will buy, uh, finally be kind of clear because I had like 10 of them. So no wonder that my inventory was so full. Anyway, let's see what we get from these eggs. So far, I've opened over 60 eggs. I think I've opened well over 65 eggs, actually. Yesterday, I wasn't even thinking about it. I just kept going to the wasteland, grab an egg, just fly around real fast, grab an egg, put it in here, hatch another one, Go back to the wasteland, grab another one. I've been, I did that for hours yesterday to the point where I didn't even check anymore if it was a Radidon because they are all near side. I swear to God, out of those 65, only about five of them were Venet, which is the wasp dragon. Uh, zero of them were Radidon and the rest were all near side, which is this one. I call it the Dilophosaurus kind of. It's a little bit like the Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus and I'm actually trying to breed one that has these colors the lego jurassic the lego jurassic park colors i really want one with those colors because those are beautiful and then i will have a dilophosaurus dino and that's what a real that's my dream to have a dino dragon that that will be so amazing so I'm actually trying, looking at every single Nerex site that I get at the colors to see if I can breed it into these these Lego col colors. Sorry, hiccups. Let me open my first egg, please, Nerex site. I need a Nerex site for my friend Lego. Okay, pretty cool colors. If it would be a uh, Radidon, I don't care about the colors. If it's Radidon, I don't care about the colors, okay? Venet. Okay, well, that's a little bit rare, actually. Considering that out of the 65 that I had only one. So my luck is already up. Okay, number two. Click. Okay, brown and uh, concrete sand brown. And it is a Nerexide. I'm, I'm guessing they're all going to be Nerexide, but please, can we get one ready done to give to my friend? Because he's been wanting one. Dude, I just got to level 66. That's how much I'm addicted to this game. In the last video that I posted about this game, I was like level 52 or something. So, okay. Open another egg. Okay. Dark brown and orange-ish. Peach. Okay. And it is a... Nerex side again. Okay, okay, okay. Two more eggs. Two more eggs. Can we please get... Mm, and this is... It's a Radidon! I don't know. I don't know. I hope... Oh, those colors are not bad. Blue concrete and like yellow... Yellow sandish color. Please! Nerex side again. Uh, does it have any cool third... Do any of them have like cool third color? Metal... I don't know. I'm really addicted to trying to breed the dragons to get the perfect color combination that I want. In the last video, I described exactly what kind of wasp dragon I want. And and now I'm showing you that these colors are exactly uh, which I want for a, a Nerexide dragon. Okay, so the last egg. The chance is really low. So far, I've only got one Reddit on out of like almost 70 eggs. Maybe. I'm just guessing. I did. I completely lost track. It might be 100 at this point, but I don't think it's 100. Definitely over 50 eggs. Come on, please. Mm. Orange with yellow. That's not a bad color combination. And it is a red. Oh, it's a Phoenix again. Okay. Well, at least we got two Phoenix out of that. Um. Does it have nice colors? Eh, okay, well there we go. That is... Rip my eggs. We did not get a Radidon once again. I'm going to look for more eggs now. I'm going to look for more eggs.
Okay, so here is how I do it. I just get into the world. Um, while I'm looking for the eggs, I also just pick any baby dragons that I have. I'm not going to do the ones that I just got. I'm probably going to delete those. Uh, oh, I have six babies. Okay, I have six babies for some reason. I just get out one of my faster dragons. And... <sighs> Okay, and I fly around. Okay, you know what What we could do? You know what we could do? We could do a challenge. Sometimes I challenge myself to not stop pressing the forward button. If you don't know, since the new level update for the dragons, uh, they take a bit of time to speed up, to accelerate. So when you press forward, first they go slow, faster, 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 and then they go at full speed. So if you just keep pressing forward, you stay fast. And sometimes, because now I've looked for so many eggs, I know this world so well now, I know where all the eggs are, I know all the spots, and sometimes I find it in the first spot, uh, uh, like, super fast, and sometimes it takes me, like, a long time to find it, and it's in, like, the last spot where I look. But, if in any case, it's faster if I go as fast as possible. So here's my challenge, I'm going to speed this up for you guys. Let's see if we can find an egg without... I'm not allowed to stop, so when I see something, I don't, like, stop. Hmm, look at this fire, and I, like, go like this. Hmm, beautiful. Hmm, no. I have to, like, go super fast past it. So, okay, what's the time? What's the time? Okay, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Doodly doodly do. Okay, so what is the time on that, by the way? That is three. No, wait, two, two minutes. That is two minutes on the clock. That is two minutes for one egg. Of course, in a private server. So big shout out once again to Jolteon for letting me use a private server. Then what I do is I click reset because it's the fastest way to get to the teleport pad. Then I click lobby. I go back to my base. I put the egg on and I and I took another one out. But of course now I already took all of the eggs out of the out of the out of my base. So I cannot put another one in. Yeah, now at least you know kind of my route or at least the start of my route. Basically, there's no logic behind it. I just go in a circle around the map and check all the spots that I know. They're either on the rocks, um, in caves under the rocks, on the floating rocks, or on those little round or well big round tower things. Um, the only exception, the only thing that's not in my basic route is the middle because I go in kind of a circle around. So I check the middle last. So if it's ever in the middle, then that means it takes me like 10 minutes to find it because that's like the last spot that I check. But other than that, I know all spots pretty well and I'm pretty fast at it. Maybe we should look for another. Maybe, I don't know, I kind of want to look for another. Okay, you know what? Let's use the potion. I just want to see what it looks like. So I love these colors, especially in this world. As I said in the last video, this world kind of makes your dragon more shiny. Look at the pink, how here in the middle, how shiny it is. It makes it look like Iron Man's armor, how shiny it is. Look at this. Very cool looking, but that's only in this world. I don't know why. Okay, here you go. Witch, you're becoming the witch. Okay, let's see. Can I do it? Just click on it? I click feed, don't I? Feed. She just disappeared. It was a prank. It was a prank. If you use the witch potion, your dragon disappears. No, 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 no. Where's she? Where is she? Where's my where's my dragon? Okay, here she is. Oh, what is that? I didn't what the potion said black and pink and green. And she's black and blue and gold. She's black and blue and gold. That is not the same colors at all. That is such different colors. Okay, I don't know why this is the case, but it still looks pretty cool. It still looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Okay, she has golden teeth. 
like a gangster, like a real gangster. She has golden teeth. And also, wait, what color is the gold? Is that secondary? Wait, where is she? Oh, here. Oh, her picture is kind of broken now. Her picture still shows her as red and pink, but also with the new black. Like, the colors in the pictures are kind of broken. Okay, oh, that... It's actually a kind of green, yellow toxin. Point. That is perfect for a dragon from the toxic world that she has the toxin color. And marine, neon... Oh, no, wait. Metal. All are metal and abyss. Okay, so the third color or tertiary color is the same color as what comes out of the volcanoes on her back. So, yeah. Some people actually call this the father dragon. And they call this the mother dragon. Actually, this is officially called the mother dragon. So, does this mean that we have a mother and a father, I guess? I guess they, uh, we could have them make a baby, but I'm not gonna do that. Both of them have such an insanely long cooldown time when you make them have a baby. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly disappointed that my dragon isn't black with pink and green, which is what I wanted. Um, but the green, yeah, it's, the green looks kind of like gold yellow. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these. Get me a faster dragon. We're going to do another time challenge. Can I find an egg faster than two minutes? The last one took two minutes and, well, a few seconds. Timer starts in two, one, go. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, stop the timer at 42 seconds. Sometimes it's just like this. Sometimes the egg is in one of the first places you look and you're just so lucky. I can't believe I found the last two eggs in one in two minutes and one in 40 seconds. But overall, I'm pretty fast at it. I've got, gotten pretty fast at it. Um, I guess I'll put this in my base and... oh. I'll put this in my... I don't know. I'll end the video here. I'll put it in my base after I'm done recording. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the new Wasteland update. Um, the only thing in the last video that I recorded that I didn't upload, you know, the one that I said it's like a week old and I didn't want to upload it, is that I tried out this dragon, which is actually really fun to run around with. So let's do that for a little bit. I like that it can run actually up any mountain. Look, this looks way too steep. Look, it looks like these mountains, you cannot run up these mountains, they're way too high. This dragon is like, nope, I can do what I want. And you can actually also run over the toxic ocean. I didn't know that before until I accidentally fell in it. And then I just stayed on top of it. You can actually just run over the toxic uh, ocean. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I, I actually like this one. Uh, this is my Indoraptor. I can't believe I got this one from an egg. This color combination really looks like you would buy it from an auction or you would breed it. But I actually got Night Night Gold from an egg. That's pretty lucky. That's pretty lucky. So sometimes I'm really lucky. Anyway, if you like ground dragons, I highly advise you get yourself one of these Neroxides. They're uh, often pretty cheap on to get from an auction. And yeah... And yeah, if you level it up, this one's only level 8. If you level it up some more, it actually becomes quite fast. And as, as, I, and, and as I showed, one of my favorite parts is that it can just run up any hill. Almost any hill. Uh, it cannot run up these, like, these straight towers, I think. But when it comes to... Um, wait, what? Why is it having trouble going downhill? Oh, apparently it goes slow downhill. I don't know why. Oh, I'm lagging. Oh, the world hasn't loaded. Okay. Well, I don't know. We've just, he's decided to stop here. Okay, I guess that'll be the end of this video. Um, yeah, tell me if you have a Radidon dragon yet. Or maybe you don't want it. Because technically, it's quite a slow dragon. And I don't think it's even as fast as the mother dragon. So technically, you don't need one. Other than just having one for fun. You don't need it for fighting. You can just use your mother dragon if you have one. And for speed, just use one of the new wasp dragons. It's probably the fastest one now. So, maybe some of you think I don't even want a Radidon. And for me, maybe eventually I'll get rid of them. Because, I don't know, I, I think they look absolutely beautiful. But then again, I think every dragon in this game looks beautiful. And I don't want to have full bags. So, yeah. For now, what I really want, I'm looking for the perfect Saurium. I'm looking for a Lego Dilophosaurus uh, Neroxide. 
and a wasp colored wasp dragon. And of course, I have to keep my, my uh, mother dragon that Jolteon gave me. Where is it? Oh, okay. She's just yeeting. Okay, goodbye for fighting. I'll keep that one, of course, for fighting. And oh, wow, this world is being a bit laggy. Okay, okay. Time to really end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the new wasteland and if you're enjoying the Dragon Adventures video. And what should I make another video about? I might make a series trying to get to 1 million. That would be funny, like trying to get 1 million money. Uh, I've actually gained a lot of money since I've just been selling a lot of the dragons on the auction. But maybe it would be fun to make a series trying to become a millionaire in this game because I've always been poor and now it's the first time I've actually I'm actually over a hundred thousand, uh, but I'm still spending a lot of it. So should I make a series about that or something else? I don't know. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to stomp like a dragon. Super big thank you to everyone who supports me as a member on YouTube or a Patreon on Patreon. Their names are on the screen right now. Thank you friends so much. Without you, it wouldn't be possible for me to make these videos. If you also want to support the channel, the links are in the description. And if you don't have any money, you can just share this video and like and subscribe and do all the nice things, especially just be a nice person. Thank you so much. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur.